with the good chutney yes. the idli is become even more special the queen victoria style idli at home we do idli differently at restaurants we do idli differently and uh, kerala they make different kind of idli in tamil nadu they make it different in andhra they make it different so in the home style of idli what she always uh, makes what do you use uh, with idli rava idli rava. rava idli rava means this is a cream of rice you can buy from the market it's called idli rava this is different from the suji rava suji rava is made with wheat and we make upma and all that for this also quantities is also same uh, in the hotels we do one cup of urad dal and three cups of rice at home she does is one cup of urad dal and two and a half cups of cream of rice you can use even three cups the idlis will come out nice soak even this cream of rice in the water wash it thoroughly after you grind the urad dal mix both of them together now look at it do you think it's fermented yeah it's fermented i think it can ferment more. even little more in this add salt do not add salt you know before fermenting after grinding you mix it and don't try to add salt then the fermentation will be little less mix the batter thoroughly pour the batter i always pour lot and make big idlis it always overflows just like my love things overflow when i do it uh, uh, uh. and and she makes lot of chutney because lot of people they add little chutney for me if i take one idli this size i need that much <laughs> chutney so she makes it like and just like sambar i eat chutneys because your chutneys are so good they usually around 12 13 minutes chutney where we basically roast the peanuts in this chutney you use little extra peanuts and the roasting of peanuts is art on a slow flame each peanut will crack and you will get the nice aroma that's when your chutney will be good if the peanuts are raw it won't be that good while the peanuts are getting roasted here is the roasted chana dal add some garlic tamarind green chili lot of uh, coconut yeah. and here are the roasted peanuts put all of this in a grinder yeah. add little salt and make it into a thin yeah. chutney so that you can dunk the idli into the chutney the next one is a gun powder and in gun powders we make various varieties we usually call this as a nalla pudi or a darker uh, gun powder yeah. in this add red chilies lot of them add peppercorns coriander seeds if you have black urad dal or split urad dal some chana add cumin some mustard seeds some fenugreek seeds all of this on a very slow flame and uh, usually when we do in the hotels we roast each one of them separately but if you are making a small quantity add all of them and on the slow flame roast it at least for uh, 8 to 10 minutes that's when the real aroma will come out in this add garlic i love lot of garlic add uh, tamarind and also add curry leaf when you make it a powder you can also add little bit of hing and it will be so good dry roast each of these ingredients let them cool down on a plate and then put in a blender and little bit coarsely that means when you eat it with idli you need to get that crunch one is a liquidy chutney one is little bit dry along with this little bit of sesame seed oil or even ghee it will be really good and another chutney you know which is popular in south of india is the onion red chili chutney oil in this add coriander seeds add lots of red chili add curry leaf now in this add onions cook the onions till the onions are nice and soft and uh, while cooking them also add garlic tamarind and in all the things the tamarind is important for south indians so slowly fry them till they are nice and soft and in this add salt little bit of jaggery and slowly cook it once this is done make it into a coarse chutney and you put the idli in it my goodness it'll be so good gun powder is wow we usually add ghee this is the peanut the chutney with the nice tempering wow and Uh. Onion chutney. 
with the beautiful gunpowder, the peanut chutney, the onion chutney, and finally, hot hot. Queen Victoria, now, ah, uh, look at this nice idlis. And now you know that you can make idlis with the rice, with the cream of rice, everything. Each one of these idlis, wow. Okay, Queen Victoria. You're not going to eat. We're going to eat. <laughs> soft, soft. Mm. Idlis. So, the idlis, when you make it with rava, they have a different texture and some people just love this kind of idlis. And especially even in sambar and with chutneys, they just love it. How is it, baby? So, like she is the chutney queen. So, why don't you eat? Okay, baby. Wow. The idlis. Uh -huh. Really awesome and with the chutney, I love to dip the idli in the chutney and like this mm. with the crunchy curry leaf and the tempering. Mm. Mm. How is the onion chutney? Mm? Super. But the gunpowder takes the icing. You know, once you finish with that, you come to gunpowder. Mm. We make sambar with idli, but not every time. Mm. So even in the evenings, you make the combination, but with the good chutney, yes. the idlis become even more special. Keep eating. When you eat best of the best food, you got to ding chicka ding chicka ding chicka ding chicka ding chicka.